Hello there, it's Jonathan Ross here, um, and I'd like to add my voice to the many that I hope you already have um, shouting out their support for the NHS uh, in its present form, which we hope it will continue to be so. I was born and raised in London. I've been in that hospital many times in my life. Um, they've helped me out any number of times, especially coming from a poor family. Um, for example, that was when my finger was sewn back on when I was about six months, I think, or a year old, and I crawled to get some food out of the bin. Which, by the way, is more a story of poverty than greed, before you start judging me. Um, but uh, more recently, I was uh, visiting my brother. One of my brothers was in hospital. He had to have a life-saving emergency operation. Unfortunately, that was carried out and he survived. So it was um, hit and miss for a while. But knowing that the NHS is there as a safety net um, for yourself and for your friends and family, but also just for everyone you pass on the street everywhere, everyone that we share this country with, is always... A great sense of reassurance and happiness to me and so whenever i read about um proposed changes to it or hear intimations that um it may well be changed in some fundamental way or privatized or sold off of course it fills me with dread it fills me with horror it's a terrible thing to hear and it would be indeed a terrible thing to happen so let's all make sure to the best of our powers that it doesn't and that things don't change and if you'd like to help of course you can go to your nhs needs you.com and you can find out how you can help more. I'm sorry, I'm old. I had to look at my screen then to, to get the details. But anyway, I'll just double check. Yes, it's your NHS needs you com. So go there. I'm going to hop on now and uh, make sure that we keep the NHS strong and robust and free for everyone.